what up now tundra kev here thanks for watching appreciate your time all right finally got it in pelican cargo case bx135 this is uh something i did a lot of research on as you know there are several cargo type of cases like this from different companies different sizes all kinds of stuff like that uh, I went with this one because there was one that was taller, maybe a little bit deeper, taller and a little bit deeper, but I thought this one would be a good size for the back of the truck, used as a storage solution. Um, I looked at the swing cases, but this being my first truck, I wasn't ready to try to remove this and drill holes or anything in there for the swing case. Not to say at some point I won't do that, um, I also entertained getting the smaller Pelican case that would fit over here. Um, and then there's also the ones that are like the saddle mount cases that fit along here <clears throat> with the uh, mounting brackets that they have. And also the one, the case that kind of fits in this little corner here um, also has its own mounting bracket. I will say these cases are expensive. Um, as you know, if you looked at them and, but I mean, the quality is just, you know, I mean, these things can take a beating and they've got all kinds of options for mounting them. This triple latch system can do some mounting stuff over here. If you need to handles seem nice and sturdy and it's just a solid case. Um, I like this color kind of goes along with the black bed. Although I thought I'd gotten a different color. I thought I may have gotten the, the more grayish color. Unless I'm thinking of something else. I might be thinking of Rome cases. But anyway. Um, plus you gotta love this badge. It says it all. Pelican. Um, somebody I watched of a guy that got a Pelican case. The case he had. He was saying how in the military. They used Pelican cases. To tote all their stuff around. So that's pretty encouraging. I mean it's you can just see you know when you get something you can see how it's made and you know this is not cheap this is heavy duty and it's going to last a lifetime and i'm not going to be putting it through any crazy abuses or anything like that so it should be good um i will get one of the the locks that pelican has um for this but anyway pop that pop that pop that goes up you got these little tension pieces here to keep the lid from falling backwards and it's also weighted pretty good so when you throw that up there you don't feel like if this is empty that this is going to fall back i've already got some stuff in here just put some stuff in it and uh there you go but like i said solid just feel solid I got this on a little bit of a deal. You can get these cases off of Amazon. And on Black Friday, this one, I forgot how much it went up, down in price, but enough to make me pull the trigger. Because <clears throat> I was not sure I was going to do this. Um, but went ahead, got a little bit of a discount on it. It's amazing how getting like... A little bit of money off of something can make you be like yeah I'm gonna go ahead and get that I mean ten dollars twenty dollars twenty five dollars you're like yeah I'm gonna go ahead and get it now just getting these latched up all right the mounting hardware for this if I mount it I would have to do the bedside mounts one goes there one goes there it attaches on this side. I think it hooks up under here, maybe. And uh, and you can lock it into place. So you don't have to worry about anybody busting your tonneau cover open, which would be pretty hard to do with the back revolver. Excuse me, the back revolver for XS or X4S. Yeah, there we go. Um, you don't have to worry about anybody doing that. So the goal is to push this to the back of the bed and latch it down the mounting system is damn near as expensive as the case it is so 
don't know if I'm going to drop that kind of money right now after just buying this. Christmas right around the corner. But we'll see. Uh, I'm going to look into maybe just using some bungees or some other type of rope or, or not rope, but like ratchet tie downs to kind of maybe hold this into place. It's not going anywhere, you know. Now it's got a little weight in it. So it's not going it. It's not going anywhere. It's not going to be bouncing around or sliding around the deck or excuse me the uh the truck bed you know along with having some weight in here the sturdiness of it in general and then also having the bed mat it's not going to be flopping around but either way still like to secure it somehow i'm sure eventually i will get the pelican mounting system for this just for the security uh, the security features of it, but it's gonna be good. But there you go, Pelican BX135. Uh, I'm gonna decide and see what type of uh, you know tie downs or what I'm gonna do now just to secure it, and we'll be back. Check it out. Who knows? I might go ahead and pull the trigger on the Pelican mounting system and go ahead and do that. If I do. We'll see how that goes and go from there. So real quick, this is how it looks. Pushed up against the back of the bed of the truck. I mean, <laughs> come on. Does that not look dope or what? But anyway, like I said, we'll figure out some type of tie-down system. Maybe I'll use the uh, corner bed hook back there. And over there, tie down somewhere like that. That certainly doesn't 100% deal with the security issues but with having a lock on here um and the security of the tunnel cover back revolver tunnel cover i don't think i'll have to worry about you know anybody stealing this and if they do steal it there's nothing real valuable in there so do what you gotta do anyway we'll be back <laughs> 